This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Manchester, head of this Saturday night show from the AO Arena. I'm joined by Ellis Hopkins, who's set to make her professional debut. How are you, Ellis? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Very well. Um, how are you feeling ahead of your professional debut this week? Um, I'm really excited. I just want to get out there now and show them what I can do. Like, it's been a long time coming. Reading and listening to a lot of people talk about you, you're very well thought of and big things are expected from you. You could say that. <laughs> so you're the first traveller woman, shall we say is that the right terminology, to turn professional, which is quite a thing in itself. Yeah, I'm the first travelling girl to turn over into the professional ranks. There's a, there's a few in the amateurs, but not many still. But yeah, I'm the first to turn over into the pros. For people that don't know, talk to me a little bit about kind of your background before today and your amateur side, etc. I had my first amateur bout when I was about 15. Um, I had 40 amateur bouts, competed all over the world. Uh, New York, Sweden, Tenerife, Ukraine. There's too many places to list. Multiple box cup titles, national titles, box for England. So there's a big background there. Finally turning professional and making your debut this weekend. Yeah, I'm on such a big platform as well. Like I can't. Like, I'm really grateful for the opportunity on such a big platform for my debut. But you can't get any better than that. So I'm just curious now. When was the first point in your life did you realise that this is something that not just wanted to do, but you wanted to kind of make a living from? Um, I probably start, when I turned amateur, that's when I started taking it seriously. Like, I always knew I wanted to go professional. Like Going down the Olympic route didn't really bother me, so being professional was something I always wanted to do and win a world title, so that's what we did. But the first moment you literally walked in the gym, and that's what I'm talking about, when was that moment, the first time you walked in there and realised that boxing was going to be your thing? And the first day I walked into the gym when I was about eight years old. Eight? Yeah. So it's a great time, obviously, for any woman to turn professional now. There's so much going on across all weights. So, yeah, who did you kind of, over the last few years, watch and kind of maybe studied a little bit in the, in the female game? Uh, obviously, Katie Taylor. She's a massive, like, the biggest... You can't get no bigger than her in women's boxing. Terry Harper, Natasha Jonas. Um, all people like that. I've seen, I think you did an interview with uh, Behind the Gloves where you were talking about kind of Tyson Fury being kind of an inspiration coming from the uh, traveller background as well. Yeah, Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders, all from a travelling community. There's loads of other like younger, upcoming ones like Dennis McCann, he's a really good one to look up to as well. Box of him on England. So yeah, they're all inspirations. You're in very good company with all them people, obviously. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> All right, well, listen, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We wish you the best of luck on Saturday night. Have you got anything else you'd like to say? I just want to say a big shout-out to all my sponsors. There's too many to list, but you all know who you are. It wouldn't be possible without you all. Um, Matt Room for the opportunity on the show. MTK Global for getting me the opportunity as well. It wouldn't be possible without you all. Ellis Hopkins, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And again, best of luck on Saturday night. Cheers, thanks for having me on. Thank you.